OK, so let's say we had the matrix A. And what the matrix A did was it took our regular coordinates, 1, 0, and 0, 1. And let's say it rotated it anti-clockwise 90 degrees to the left. So anti-clockwise 90 degrees, OK? So the matrix A, I would be able to write down, has taken 1, 0 to 0, 1. And it's taken 0, 1 round to minus 1, 0. OK, so that's the matrix A. Now let's say the matrix B instead rotates round clockwise by 90 degrees. OK, so the coordinate 1, 0 has gone to 0, minus 1. And the coordinate 0, 1 has gone to 1, 0. So if this represents a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and this represents a rotation uh, 90 degrees clockwise, if you do one and then the other, you should get back to where you started, right? So if we did 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, OK, then applying these together, 0 minus 1 multiplied with 0 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 times 1, 0 is 0. 1, 0 times 0 minus 1 is 0. 1, 0 times 1, 0 is 1. So applying these two matrices together gets us the identity matrix, which makes sense because these two transformations would reverse engineer one another. They invert one another, and hence they are inverse matrices of one another. So the idea here is that if A times B is equal to the identity matrix I, then that means that A and B are inverse matrices of one another. And we are able to then write that B then is a to the minus 1. This is the notation we use to represent the inverse matrix of A. Likewise, you could say that A is B to the minus 1. OK? Either or. So this is the important distinction. OK? So from that, we can then write, well, A, A minus 1 is equal to I. Or we could write it that way around. OK? It doesn't matter. So inverse matrices invert one another. And what we're going to be doing is investigating how to find these inverse matrices for 2 by 2 and 3 by 3.